वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग माय डियर फ्रेंड्स दिस इज वंस अगेन यू आर प्रभु स्वामीनाथन द फाउंडर एंड द चीफ हार्ट ऑफिसर ऑफ एफ माय एकेडमी फॉर मार्केट ओरिएंटेशन इंडिया द पर्पस ड्रिवन ब्रांड विद अ ग्रेट विजन ऑफ टेकिंग द एम्प्लॉयबिलिटी ऑफ द स्टेट टू नंबर वन इन द नेक्स्ट फाइव इयर्स एटलीस्ट टू बिगिन विथ एंड इन दिस डिस्कशन और इन दिस वीडियो यू नो वी वुड बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द सेवन लेवल्स ऑफ लीडरशिप and this seven levels of leadership as i committed last week uh, uh, you know it's it's my own uh, proposition uh, based on my own experience and i'm sure uh, most of the people would definitely would have experienced that whatever i am talking about as seven levels of leadership and uh, there is no any research data or a background behind whatever i am talking about today so that's a disclaimer and uh, with which uh, let's jump into the uh, the seven levels of leadership i hope and i presume this would be very very useful in this highly dynamic volatile uncertain and ever changing and ambiguous market conditions let's jump into the seven levels of leadership so fundamentally you know i would say uh, the seven levels of leadership i would like to call it as seven p's and because uh, uh, most of the uh, marketing and the branding gurus have already classified uh uh you know uh, most of the terminology is using this alphabet called p i would also get into uh, classification of um, you know the leadership into seven levels and every level would start with a letter called word called in fact p so the basic level for me is the leadership by pay what is this leadership by pay for me a leadership by pay is somebody who's motivated by rewards and monetary recognitions most probably and you would see uh, you know these kind of leaders across the organizations and most of the times you and i would have experienced such kind of leaders when i am saying this leadership driven by pay i am not saying they are bad or i am not saying they are good and i am not into a judgment mode of what they are all that i am trying to say is even this kind of leaders do exist an organization also need such kind of a leaders at different times organization needs all the seven kind of leaders at different life stages of the organization for example if you are looking at leadership by pay and you know i have experienced personally you know organization supporting and motivating such leaders when there is a high revenue pressure when there is a high cost pressure and they are not bad performers they are not bad in terms of character all that i am trying to say is it is what which drives them so organization fairly supports them in terms of giving them high monetary benefit so that organization also makes the extra revenue and extra pie and thereby organization moves towards you know its revenue targets okay this is what is for me the leadership uh, you know driven by pay or leadership level 1 which is leadership level 1 which is pay what are the, what are the characteristics of such people you know in my view uh, they are very short term focused and uh, they're fairly inconsistent in what they say and you will also have you know uh, slightly subtle negative talks about these people among the you know employees of the organization and uh, this is for me the first level of leadership and slightly above slightly above for me is i would say leadership by positioning what is this leadership by positioning leadership by positioning is for me is like you know somebody who has an extraordinary capacity to sail across the stakeholders irrespective of whatever the management is all about you will see such kind of leaders in an organization the management would come and go the subordinates would come and go you will fairly see people sailing in an organization for almost like not only sailing also growing in an organization for 15 years and 20 years they are extraordinary communicators they are extraordinary in terms of stakeholder management you know and these kind of people are again for me slightly inconsistent they have the inconsistent component together because they have to maintain the relationship between the top bosses and also with the other stakeholders so what they do is most of the times they are essays and they don't uh, um you know say no to the management they don't say no to the subordinates and some more they always wanted to maintain the relationship and still you know such kind of people are also needed in this organization and i will always experience and most of the times experience uh, uh, very long tenure people in this organization uh, you know who are who come under this category so in terms of characteristics i would say uh, they would be very good communicators um you know an ex- extraordinary in terms of uh, stakeholder management and again they will be uh, most of them would be in the implementer side you know they will not get into the transformation side you know 
they would not get into the creative side most of them would be uh, you know implementer side and um, that's the second level of leadership for me which is the second p the leadership by uh, you know positioning the third level of positioning uh, leadership for me is the third p is leadership by people uh, for me these are democratic leaders uh, for them uh, what matters to them is the equity and the equality of people. I would say they are uh, employee friendly leaders, you know, uh, they will always if you go and ask any employee in the organization who you want to be your next boss, if somebody points to a particular person and these kind of leaders are predominantly, you know, the people oriented leaders, I would say the third P. Uh, and again, uh, they would they would be fairly consistent but not uh, you know I would say a highly consistent but fairly consistent known to be a good person in the organization you know if somebody goes and asks who is a good guy in the organization everybody will pinpoint who is a goody goody kind of a person and again these people uh, doesn't come under the <clears throat> the creative side or the innovative side or the transformation side and again they are predominantly you know the implementers of the existing uh, system implementers of existing practice in the organization and for me the slightly above you know is the fourth p is the kind of leaders who lead by principles you know they're very very strict in terms of do's and don'ts uh, highly inflexible uh, they go by loss loss of the land the loss of the system and um, uh, they are respected in this organization these kind of leaders would be highly respected for their um, uh, you know, uh, as, as somebody who follows the rules of the uh, organization and uh, they are consistent. One good thing is they are consistent because they go by the rule books and again, I fairly uh, see a chance of these people uh, predominantly being under the side of implementers of the existing and not moving into the, uh, you know, transformation side. And for me, the fifth level of leadership is somebody, uh, you know, the leadership by perseverance, you know, uh, you will look at these people as really, you know, in the organization, very, very hardworking people, you know, very hardworking people and very silent people also, you know, and very hardworking and very silent and again, fairly consistent people and uh, fairly consistent people. These guys look at long term. Most of the times, if you go and talk to these guys, they will look at long term and these guys would be respected by many. Uh, the fundamental difference between uh, leadership by principles and leadership by perseverance is when you go to the leadership by principles, you will always have some kind of people in the organization. You will always have some people in the organization uh, uh, looking at the principle oriented guy as slightly uh, rigid. You know, these people will say, you know, don't go to that guy, man. He will always talk about rules. However, when it comes to a guy who is driven by leadership, by perseverance, that negativity will not be there. He will be respected for whatever hard work he does. That is the difference between the leadership by principles and the, you know, leadership by perseverance. Predominantly, these guys are, uh, you know, silent. Uh, maybe with, in my experience, I would say, uh, slightly old school thought people that, you know, put in your efforts, the future will come and you know save you and that doesn't mean that they are incompetent they know what is the stuff you know they are capable of being creative but uh, my doubt is you know how much they will break it and come out of the box uh, to get into the implementation of the transformation or um, you know uh, or being creative or innovative so again i would say predominantly on the implementation side not on the transformation side now comes for me the sixth level of leaders you know somebody who is for me is sixth level of leadership by passion okay what drives them what drives these kind of leaders or basically the learning and change you know wherever they go they want to make the mark and they constant there is a curiosity of learning uh, you know for them and they're very open and they're very open you will always see a kind of a vibrancy in them and they, they speak very fast most of the times and um, they have high powerful communication and impactful communication. It's not about good communication. They have powerful and impactful communication. And if you just see, they have a very positive attitude uh, every time and the self-esteem is high. And most of the times you will just see these guys as, you know, uh, solution providers. They will always talk in the language of solution. They will not pinpoint individuals. They will, they will, they will look at situations in terms of issues rather than individuals for me these are the uh, leaders who are driven by passion and these people would fall on the ideation side and you can also look at them as a change experts in the organization so the sixth level of leadership is for me the leadership by passion and finally the ultimatum for me is you know i would say uh, the leadership by purpose and which i always you know uh, the word which i always chant which is the purpose 
and uh, what drives them is the bigger cause the vision and the meaning it's not about it's not about learning it's also about meaning right so they always keep asking themselves okay what is the meaning that i could impact in the system what is the meaning that i could impact in the people around them you know very simple uh, they are vibrant and charismatic also some uh, very charismatic and sometimes they are powerful communicators and very humble at times so the conventional you know if you look at the passion and the purpose the kind of a difference okay when, when, when you look at passion you know for me uh, it's it's like you 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 are motivated by learning you are very vibrant you are solution providers but at the same time you know you will have you will go by the norms of the system whereas when it comes to the you know purpose driven leaders sometimes they break the system also example if if you will see purpose driven leaders being very humble you will see purpose driven leaders not talking very loud they have their own style when a situation demands wearing a blazer and tie they come in a normal t-shirt and still make the impact in their own style because they know the purpose is very big and still they have people following them and still in fact the purpose driven leaders are the leaders who has the potential and the capacity and the competency to develop the next leaders by saying this i'm not saying the rest of the six levels of leadership are cap or incapable of doing it but the chances of leaders being developed right is very very high when it comes to the uh, the seventh level of leadership which is you know the purpose driven and these people if i have to say you know the output would be they are transformation visionaries they are transformation visionaries they go beyond the system sometimes they break the rules but they break the rules with all humility they break the rules with all subtlety okay and this is the ultimatum of leadership for me which is leadership driven by purpose so in a summary we have a wonderful seven classification of leadership uh, which is let me repeat it once again the base level is leadership by pay the second level for me is leadership by positioning the third level is leadership by people the fourth level is leadership by principles and the fifth level is perseverance and the sixth level for me is passion and the seventh level is leadership by purpose okay and what drives them is very simple pay is driven by rewards and perks whereas positioning is driven by fame whereas people is driven by equity and equality and principles do's and don'ts perseverance is hard work passion is driven by learning and change and purpose is driven by the meaning and vision so an organization today needs all these kind of leaders at different life stages of this organization but everybody i am sure would agree for a system to change for a society to change for the country to change and for a new beginning to happen we need leaders of 6th and 7th level which is continuous learning and leaders who wanted to make a meaning i'm sure everybody would have enjoyed this seven levels of classification of leadership very soon i would come back to you with next concept about leadership and please like if you agree to whatever we discuss today and if you want us to improve on certain things please do share your comments and we would take your inputs with open heart and genuinely we will improvise in terms of whatever that we are submitting to you right now and thank you once again my dear viewers without you i don't think we would have marched towards our vision in the last two years of touching the lives of more than 2000 corporates and 5000 students across across seven districts of tamil nadu and karnataka and thank you so much welcome